How many lies do you allow in your relationship? Are you in denial about who your partner really is? Welcome to Dear Cypher's Sue Advice Show. I want to talk about this today because there are so many people that I've been talking with who have written me who are telling me that the person they met a while ago and got into a relationship isn't really the person they are, who they are today. So what happened here? Is there something that they missed in the beginning when they were first dating them? I would say probably yes, because the majority of people, as you get to know them within the first three to six months, you will find out certain things about them that you weren't aware of when you first fell in lust with them. There's new things that come up on a daily basis, and that's why so many relationships end within the three-month mark because there's things that weren't shown, they were hidden. And then all of a sudden they come to the forefront and you're looking at this person going, who are they? But let's talk about an established relationship. So you've been married or you're in a long-term commitment for three to five years in that time frame, And your partner has shown a different side of themselves by you're getting caught in a few lies here and there. Now, how big are these lies? How important are these lies to pay attention to. If you're finding that you're making excuses for your partner all the time because people are telling you things they've seen or heard or you know just anything along those lines and you're making excuses for their behavior all the time, you've got yourself into a situation where you're allowing them to live this double life. And why do you want to do that? Are you afraid of being alone? Are you afraid of never having another relationship? What makes it okay for them to treat you this way? Why do you make excuses for their behavior all the time? You've got to ask yourself these questions because they're having this life where they're doing exactly what they want to do, telling you a bunch of different stories. You're finding out in one way or another, but you're letting it go. So they keep repeating because they're allowed to. If you want your relationship to be in a respectful boundary zone, you've got to be respectful to yourself. And if you're not paying attention to what you deserve and, and calling them on stuff immediately and telling them that you're not gonna put up with this anymore, you're gonna keep getting all the same treatment that you've been getting for the last while from them. Don't pretend you're not seeing things. Why do you want to live in a lie in your relationship? What are you getting out of it? It's not, it's not fair. It's not fair on you at all because they are doing exactly what they want to do and you're pretending everything's okay. How long do you want to do that for? And if you think if you've got children and you think they don't notice this, you're wrong. They notice everything that's going on and from a very early age. So if you're just protecting your partner so that it doesn't upset the family, it's already upsetting the family. You need to sit down with your partner and talk to them about it. You need to tell them that the kids are aware, you're aware, and you're not going to be okay with this type of behavior anymore. If they don't want to fix it, well, you've got to either go see a counselor and talk about it or you've got to stop being in denial about who you're living with. Because long term, it's not good for anybody. Get to the bottom of what's going on. Why are you allowing it? What happened to your self-esteem? Where's your confidence gone? Did this person break it down over time? Because you've lied so much for them, they just keep doing it because they can? Please don't ever sell yourself short in a relationship and just take the dregs of what they're giving you because you deserve more. Thanks so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please comment below this video, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of you who keep tuning in on a weekly basis. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.